41 NBC Sports from the Jeff Smith Board of Byron Sports Center. It's time for Friday Night Football Scores and Highlights. You're in the end zone. Brought to you in part by Ortho Georgia, The Sanford Company, Capital Cycle, and Dent Doctor of Macon. With Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to the end zone. I'm Bill Shanks from Fox Sports 1670 AM and the Telegraph in Macon. It's season eight for our show, and we are back every Friday night for the best high school football highlights in Middle Georgia. Later on, Tucker Sargent will join us from Eastman for a good matchup in our first game of the week. Also, later games in Dublin and Perry. But first, we start in Macon, where the Howard Huskies open the season at home against Lamar County. It's season three for Barney Hester at Howard, and you have to believe the veteran coach wanted a little revenge on Friday night. Howard tied Lamar last year, 1919, in the season opener in Barnesville. The Huskies were trying for their first winning season in school history. They were 3-6-1 last year. To the end of four sports complex, the Trojans and the Huskies for our first highlights of the night. And here we go. A great crowd on hand at Ed DeFore. Lamar County starts on offense first on their own seven yard line. Andrew O'Neill with a long run, right sideline near his fans. Tackled by number 63, Josh Harold near midfield. And now the next play on the 47 for Howard. Handoff to Andrew O'Neill again for 10 yards and a first down. Trudges now knocking on the door. Handoff to Juan Tucker from the five to the one. And then the quarterback, L.G. Smith. Wasn't he the former band leader on Saturday Night Live? I don't think this is the guy, but uh, he scores. Walks it in for the touchdown. Trojans get the PAT on the board. They're up 7 nothing over Howard. So the Huskies try to get something going. Covessier King, first play from scrimmage, picked off by guess who? LG Smith. No kidding, he can play defense too. They're near midfield again. Smith goes to work on offense to Tay Holiday. Right side, knocked down the Huskies eight yard line, first and goal. And they get it in. Touchdown by Juan Tucker. Six more points for the Trojans. Lamar County up 13 and nothing over Howard. 4.37 left to go in the first quarter. Second quarter now. Lamar County with the ball again. LG Smith drops back and he heaves it, but it's going to be picked off by Jordan Hall of Howard. So the Huskies with a big play on defense. Howard now with the ball on their own 36. And watch this. This right here is our first play of the week of the season. Jaron Means. He gone. 64 yards. Look at this run. You ain't going to catch me, brother. In the end zone for the score. Pretty good play of the week right there. 64 yard touchdown, 13 to 7. Lamar still out on top. For the end of the first half, Huskies with the ball again. King drops it, picks it up. Not a smart play here. He's going to heave it, and it's going to be picked off by LG Smith. Remarkable first half for him on the first, first uh, both sides of the ball. Trojans had six points, six point lead at the half, but the Huskies came back and won this game. How about a great second half for Howard? They get revenge with a 28-19 win. Howard will play FPD next Thursday at Mercer. Good win for Barney Hus Hester and the Huskies. Now to some action from the GISA. Windsor, the Knights hosting Bethlehem Christian at home tonight. Here we go as the Knights get going. And they would going to score a lot of points in the first half. Windsor kicks it off to start the season. Bethlehem is going to bobble the kickoff. And that kind of was... Uh, a little indicative of their first half right there. Lots of flags, lots of penalties, but Windsor did the work. Shotgun, quarterback Jonathan Osborne, Marquise Jackson, touchdown for Windsor. Right there, the extra point would be good, and it's 7-0, Windsor out on top. Windsor gets it back on the 35-yard line. Osborne hands off Josh Brooks. He gone. I want to say that a lot during this highlight package. He scores. Windsor up by the score of 14 to nil. right there. Yeah. Bethlehem now is going to punt it, and uh, this may take a while. Sit back, relax. Marquise Jackson's going to get it. And uh, he's on the 15, 20, 25, 30. Get out of my way. Cut back to the left. 35, 40, 45. Where's Watson when we need him? He gone. Marquise Jackson along. 85 yard touchdown. And the Knights are on top of the Knights. Windsor leading by the score of 21 0. Second quarter now. Bethlehem gets on the board. Jacob Parker is going to hand it off to Chris Rattere, who gets it in for six points. And they are on the board. Windsor still up by 14. Windsor now on their own 44. Handoff near midfield, Josh Brooks. Guess what? You say it. He gone. He is gone. What a run by Brooks. Long 56-yard touchdown right there. Nice rough 28-7. Wins or wins it. 48 to 15 is the final score. Good for Jimmy Watts. They are off next week, but a good win for Windsor to start this season. All right, when we come back, season openers for the Raiders from West Lawrence and the Perry Panthers. More the end zone right after this. <laughs> 